What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? What's up, my college football 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, it's time. We got to go on the road and play Oregon. Washington Huskies, man. We got to go on the road to play the Oregon Ducks. And you know, we've been scouting them, guys. I've been looking at their ratings. I've been trying to do everything I can to prepare for this game. Um, I've actually been doing some practice against them, um, trying to learn their schemes and everything. Um, I've actually watched the CPU play CPU and try to get some tips off of that. Man, I am ready for this game. I am prepared to play the Oregon Ducks. Now, I am prepared. That don't mean uh, it's going to be an automatic win. Because they are, uh, I don't know what they're ranked in the country, but I know we're number ninth in the country, guys. Again, if, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Welcome to Hollywood Sports. Let's play some college football. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. As you can see, the Oregon Ducks are number four in the country, guys. You know, all the talk is out of the window, guys. All of the talk is out of the window. Let me show you where we're at um, as far as the college football playoffs. Man. Let's look at this bracket, man. Let me show y'all what's going on right now. Let me show y'all what's going on right now. Now, this is our last game before we have a bye week. Our last week of the uh, college football season, we got a bye. So we get a rest. But you see where we're at. We're number 11, coming into the 12 team uh, college football playoffs. The first ever 12 team college football playoffs, and we are number 11, guys. Ranked number nine in the country. You look at all, look at all those teams, those awesome teams on this board, man. And for us to get it in for sure, we got to beat the Oregon Ducks. If we lose, I don't think we're gonna make it. The 12th team is UAB, man. They're 10 and one. Okay. The only reason they're number 12 is because their strength of schedule uh, and the conference they're playing. But man, if we, we got to win this game. Our destiny is in our hands. Okay, We don't want to pray that we make it and we lose this game. So we got to get it on. I want to show y'all what's at stake right now in this game against the Oregon Ducks. Okay, guys? All right. All the talk is out of the window, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Here we go. It's time to play. It's time to play some college football. And I can imagine right now the crowd's going to be going crazy. I'm going to have squiggly lines the whole game. My receivers aren't going to be able to hear that my audibles and heart routes. Um, my center's not going to be able to communicate with the line that to identify the mic we're just gonna have a lot of problems in this game um, uh, you see they're ranked 89 across the board we're ranked I mean we're over our, our overall is the 84 overall they are 89 overall obviously they're a better team guys but we got to get it going. we got to keep the crowd quiet we need a quick start to keep the crowd quiet that's the game plan all right here we go Welcome to Oxen Stadium, respected and feared by all opponents. This might be, per capita, the loudest place in college football. Very tough environment for any visitor. The fourth and a game like this is what makes college, college football. football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity game. and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. The Seahawks have a chance to good. rest from a bye week. The Washington Huskies. We need a quick start, guys. That's all I know. I don't even mind if we get the ball first. We need a quick start. Let's get to the action on the field. We've been working on our playbook. I've been working on my play, as far as my play calling on defense and offense. Um, we're prepared, guys. At least I hope we're prepared. All right. The Ducks will kick this game. All right, we do want to get the ball first. Here we go. And he takes this from inside the five. Turner, one down, sets up the next drive. Muskie's offense will start in a bad spot here, thanks to that return. Last here we go. We beat them the the in the last year. What a privilege to be part uh, of this rivalry game. There's nothing like a rivalry game. 
times. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Looking to throw it on first down. Quarterback looking to scramble. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Takes the ball, tries the right side here. But Kirk, no surprise, you get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember, it came down to the wire, the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. I think we can get an initial push in our line. We just got to worry about their linebackers and their secondaries. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. He there we pulls go. In there the we catch. go. We need a quick start. We got to keep this crowd quiet. Let's out go. Of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Great conversion here for this Washington offense and another first down. And I tell you, this guy's living up to the expectations of a Washington quarterback. They've had some great play out of that position over the years. We got to get the ball out quick. We got to watch for the blitz. We got to use our speed and we got to run the football. Right now, we got this crowd quiet. We got to keep them quiet. Just underway, and this home crowd they're, they're, they're is fired up in the country, and ready to make a difference today. Stadium. I thought they were number four. Get that block. Get that block, Colton. I'm coming right behind you, Colton. I'm coming right behind you, Colton. Get the block, Colton. Flip it to him on the jet sweep. We'll take it. Spin move. Let's go. Let's keep the crowd quiet, baby. The game moves the ball Let's keep to running the football. Well, they've had an entire week to try to find weaknesses in this defense and how to attack. And here in the opening drive, they're using the receiver in motion to get him the ball in space and give him those blockers out in front. Great job of designing the play and great execution here by this offense. Second down after that previous play. Crowd's getting loud again. And the quarterback dropping back. Receiver makes the grab. Get the he first down. The Get the first down. Let's go. They bring him down to the 25. They're moving closer and closer to the red zone. Washington getting set for the first and 10. Line now. giving us time to throw the ball. I like that. We got to watch the blitz, though. Got to watch the blitz. Oh, there we go. There we go. Gets the Rick Smith and still running. Yes. The tackle Get. is made. But the offense is now set up. Got to keep this crowd quiet, man. That's all we got to do. And here and we comes can, the we noise. This crowd is trying to think. inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. We, we're never going to give up. They're never going to stop the squeakers. Never. Play, play, play. The pull back. We're going to pull back. Handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they don't block the defensive end and show some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback. We got that. man coverage. We got this edge right here. This we got this edge. Just get the block. We're we'll trying to get by this line. Just the get the block. But also, he is very, very talented and shows the physicality he has against him. Get it in. Let's go to the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. Nice drive. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Let's go. Let's go. PAT is good, so it's 7 0. We play Husky football in that drive. Let's go. Here's the kickoff team. You know they're going to come after us. You know they're coming. You know they're coming. We gotta stop the run. I feel if we stop the run, we might have a chance. Stop them at the 11, not good field position to start the drive. We gotta stop the run. We're against offense out there for their first position. We gotta worry about that guy. Here comes the other star wide on the field. Ooh. This is really an elite group in college football this right, season. Let's make Both sure these guys focus. belong in that group. Yeah, these guys have been chirping back and forth at each other in social media throughout the week. I want to see who has the better day because chances are that's the team that's gonna win today. Here we go. Let's go, Dave. Line getting set up. It's a first down play. Let's go on the outside here, Davis. Let's go. 
Off the play fake, looking to throw. The pass get him, rush get him, get him. Come on! Trying yes. to get the throw off. That one is incomplete. Took a downfield shot on first down, but missed it. Yeah, one way to slow down picks. a very okay, gifted go. quarterback is to be able to get pressure on them. Play right now, Let's the play defense coordinator is doing a great right. job of mixing up the looks, and the defense is winning the line of scrimmage. Gotta get the pressure. And I think it's really impacting this quarterback's rhythm. It's a quick way to be there. Way to be there. Let's go. Anytime you have a chance to get this guy receiver isolated and get the ball go. in his hands, you do it. So let's see what they Nothing like over here, here on deep. Nothing third deep. and short from inside their own 20. Important Nothing to deep. pick up this first down. Catch made on the out route. And we'll head out of bounds, Ooh. but not before picking up enough for a first down. Well, they're not going to well, run the football, exactly guys. They're trying to come back. Let's card. go. Nice throw downfield here on third down. And a really good oh, now they run the quarterback a oh, chance play to action. play action. He finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Yes, Ooh, that was a great play they just did, man. That was a great play. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty. So they were going to play play. The they threw it. They threw the it. Penalty backs Come up on, the D. offense. It's on. first and fifteen. And they'll run yeah, it out of the shot. Let's go. If we can the stop the run. The we make, we gotta make a point. Pat on a hat on the front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards, try to get at least a pick in this game. Second down after that run on the previous play. We know we're going to call good plays. From the gun. Here we go. Stop him, guys. Stop him. Let's go. We're trying to run it now. When you can get good run chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just run keeps it. you on schedule, leading to more Watch over the middle. Watch over the middle, linebackers. Watch over the middle. Never underestimate the value of consistently Stay right getting in the middle. Stay right there. Yards a pop like that. Ooh, He's going to take off. Get him. Slides to avoid the big hit. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option. You don't call it good defense. Option, I know I'm calling good defense. He's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards. Watch the streak. Watch the streak on the right side. Slides down oh, they trying to run it. Hit. Let's go. That's a nice tackle good there That's by the senior. senior. Chris, you know, the spread I'm noticing our defense. has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really go. build their defense to play in space. Get him, get him, Still get him. Have an ability. Yes! And he can't escape. It's Don't try to drop the defense. That's a sack, baby. Nothing Don't drop is that last minute thing. That's defense. a sack. To be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Oh, yes. Look, 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 look at it. That. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You see how he busts through that line? We came to play. We came to play. Jacob Band. Bandez, man. Woo-hoo-hoo. Let's go. Offense coming to the Let's line. Go. They might have a chance Some for a guys couple more 14. plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Oh guys, they can't get it. They can't get it. No, long. no, get him. Let's go. You're playing good coverage out there. Sacked on the final play of this first quarter. Oh yeah, we coming, baby. We coming. We coming. We got to keep. See, look at that crowd. We got. We got. We got to keep them quiet. Oh look, we we just busting through the line. Look at Parker. Ooh, ooh. Let's go. Let's go. So, Kurt, it's Washington in front. Let's check out the stats now for the open period. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They got six rushing yards. That's what we want to keep. We got to make them throw the football. Plenty of time for some plot twists here. Wear and tear on that quarterback's arm. The Ducks will have to kick this away. We just can't turn the ball over. That's all. Just don't turn the ball over. We can't let them get back in the game. Block, guys. Block, block, on the block return, somebody. It's Jackson. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Let's count the rock, guys. Let's count the rock. Let's count the rock. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? On the shotgun, it's a Here handoff. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Great job about. by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room. When we have to pass, we can get him up Plays inside. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? 
maybe play action, maybe throw the ball down the field. Away 66. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. Cool. That this time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, please. freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. Ooh! Incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Man, on your own side Rejected. of the field, you're playing a risky game, you're third they got us short. Number 11. Your goal we should already know that. This we already know that. The best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back. Are we in the playoffs already? Have him get behind that us offensive line. We're going to go up against a... Curious to see what they do around here on this fourth and short. No, kick it away here. Come on, land inside. Land inside. That takes a big bounce and rolls all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? I knew they were coming on that first play. Of the drive we got it off. He, he almost made a great catch. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Get him, get him, get him. Let's it go. It is complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Got to the crowd out of the game. Ducks looking right to now. use the up-tempo offense here. Hey, a first down here by this Oregon offense. Nice to see the quarterback and receiver in sync and very efficient. Something that Oregon really prides itself on. As much as you want to think about that quarterback with there we go, a right run, there we go. remember, they can hurt you with their arm as well. Noah Whittington is their halfback. He's shifty 360 takeoff from Georgia. Okay. Noah Second Whittington. down after that run on the previous play. They'll run get it him, here. The running back has the ball. Nice run. He's brought out at the 44. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit yeah, to the defense. Power they have kicker. really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. And they pick up the first on the ground. Tackle. got to make them sure the guy who are picking up the first set of downs. Here's a great example of a back knowing where he needed to go on this play. And he didn't mess too. around. He got between the tackles and earned every single gotta yard. Got to make him earn every yard. Let's go, D. On the run, it's Whittington. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains. And runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking Keep about. Keep running it. Keep now running so we get some wear and tear and get a pump. Here on this Keep second down. And he's got it again. Keep running. Keep Able to running. fight for a decent game here in that Keep running hitting, play. boys. Keep hitting. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it Keep makes this third them. down coming up a little bit more get manageable. Some wear and tear going on. It has a lot of value. Running play mm -hmm. called on third and short. Banging, banging. Get him at the 42. Good enough for a first down. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. You're doing pretty good against the run. They'll run it here. Uh-huh, yeah, we're doing pretty good against the run. They're trying to go for three. That's why they keep showing their kicker stats. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get they, they can have the yards they to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. And here's the handoff. Yeah, 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 no yeah, yeah. Let's go. In that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Oh, they keep showing that kicker rating. They no must of be going for the three. How do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, we I think you need great leadership from the D, team. Baby. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways yeah, get on it. The teams that play the best in rival games get, are the teams that, that have that? the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. All right, we got him to pump. We got him to pump. He's hanging in. He's hanging in there. That's a big third down defensive play. And the Ducks will have to punt this one away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. There's a two-minute warning left to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Where are we at? On 11? <sighs> and the Washington offense is back out on the field now. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. 
The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some set. vertical seams for big plays. Set. Let's block, guys. Let's block. Keeping it on the ground here. They'll bring him down just short of the 20. It's a good, solid game. Keep running, Five baby. Six yards. Keep running. Love to see that from a running game. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponent's excellent right field position. How about to make him the mic? Got to make him the mic. So we can take him out. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach it's be a tough time. game, man. It's just that simple. To send their punt team out of the field. They kick it away this for the second time. They want to kick it too hard last time. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Well, it's been an Let's entertaining go. Go. first half. Let's get Not throw much time Let's get to throw cut throw into this lead. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Yeah, they're always looking over the middle. Always looking over the middle. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the always quarterback. Over the Not easy with that size difference. Back to throw. Stay right there. Stay right there. Makes a quick catch. And he's tackled. Let's just hold on to three guys. Let's hold on to three. First down. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Of all the receivers to lose track of, it's this guy, one of the best receivers in the entire country. Lucky that wasn't the score. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Oh, you should have had that! Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty been a quickly right the there. to the receiver. He's going to keep forcing it, guys. Let's go. Second down now. From the shotgun, drops back. Grab down the middle. It's Ferguson. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. The Ducks will hustle to the line to run the hurry up offense. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete, barely near the goal line. Got to be impressed by the accuracy of this throw and the effort by the receiver to make the catch. He just couldn't get his foot down for the empty, touchdown. Man. So the offense guys, takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. The pocket got breaking him, got down. Him, got him. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. They're not going to fake it. They're not going to fake it. So it's third down, but out comes the field goal unit. They'll try to add three points before halftime. Trying to connect from 41 yards away. They get the ball no first problem. in the third quarter. Knocks it right through. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. The coverage team brings him down in the final play of this first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help we you gotta, break we the wheel and good play the best defenses and help you come out on top. Especially on uh, offense. There's a college football poll rankings, baby. We're right there at number nine. All right, let's try to run up the middle. 
No, we kick it. What am I thinking? We kick it. The Huskies will kick this away to begin the second half. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly to the wide out. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing. There we go. The timing there we go. here is Let's impeccable. Go. Not much on that play. Brought down short. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle right. made right there. after right the completion. There. Just a good stop shot right here. We need a stop right here. Got the ball out to his receiver. Right his guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. Ah. And he decides to just roll it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. Ball lands at the five. It doesn't check up. Bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And the Washington offense retakes the field here. The guys, I want to go next to the ball so bad. This has been a patient. struggle for both offenses. You got to so be far. patient. Here's the first play of the drive now from the 20 yard line. Crowd going crazy up in here. Here's the handoff. Nowhere to run up the middle. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fronts, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards oh, at no all. third and longs. Ball carrier brought down, but a flag's on the field. Let's check out this call. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Will that holding penalty be a drive killer? And this crowd coming to life here, trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. I can't see. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Let's it go. But they can't the make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They gotta get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. To throw, it's Rodgers. Pressure is coming. Could not get there on the scramble short of the marker. And now a fourth down decision coming up. And the Huskies will line up to put it away. With the return, it's low. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Production powerful offense is back on the field. Last drive stalled, forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain way they're always to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. Oh, that makes him run just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Tackle is made at the 8-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. 
And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Defense is coming after him. Looks to the left, and it's complete. Touchdown, Oregon. And they go in front here in the second half. That's what I love about this running back is he's so dangerous after the catch. You know, you look at him, you think about the ability to run between tackles or even bounce it outside, and that's great. But what makes him really one of the more dangerous backs in the country the is this right man. here. Catch the ball to the backfield, make people miss, and take it into the end zone. But we'll try to add the lead now with the BAT. Well, we knew it was going to be tough, man. We had to get up to a fast the start, and we did, but that defense picked it up on us. We had a nice run game going. We can't get nothing going now. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Number 19, set to kick off. And it's fielded. Return to trying to make something happen. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Huskies offense is back out on the field. This group we gotta is keep trying to run it, man. We got to keep trying to run it. And they put Their something ends together with superstars. Drive. Here's the toss play. Runner heads outside. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage. Not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Cameron can't change that route. Looking to throw. It's Rodgers. And they heave it deep downfield. Oh. The pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. How come I couldn't put that on the street? Can they catch him? And he steps out after a nice return. What a momentum shift for this could be. It's because he can't hear it. My receiver can't hear the heart route. Cap here. When they went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive get back backs, they're able to play better in going space. Going back to the run. They recognize going back the ball, to the run. step in front of it for a nice interception. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't get good hit lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Oh, man. My middle linebacker. Wearing chair is increased. He's okay right now. Short completion, a third down play coming up. Let's go! Offense looking to throw the ball. On the junior, gets home making a sack there. Oh, a really good job by this throw. defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work now. through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Look at Russell Davis push that lineman out of the way, baby. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Somebody came to play. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. He made good on his first attempt. This one is from 40 yards away. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. I was watching need this a big guy play to win this game. Nice. We're hanging in there, but we need a big play to win this game. three points up here for the offense. Either on defense or offense. Somebody got to come up with a big play. So after coming away from three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it with the 16. That's good the quarterback. And the Washington offense heads back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. They'll hand it off. 
Picks up two, for that so RPO. second and eight. Well, wait, There's no. just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback on the RPO. The defense give him credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. I wouldn't be surprised if the quarterback is second-guessing that decision of giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. This should be the last play of the quarter coming up. Takes the handoff, looking to throw. And it's incomplete, but is the final play of this period. And as we take a break to flip ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the current national rankings. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic a finish. Bowskis will send the punt team onto the field. Oh. Not the way he wanted to kick it. Roll, 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 roll. Well, down the punt just inside the 45-yard line. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. They kicked a field goal in the last drive. They're looking for the end zone this time. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Now I like the run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first by also staying in bounds and working that clock. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. That's going to be incomplete. They keep throwing that one pass no right there, man. It's close to being picked. Come on. Come on. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial Man, conversion coverage on right that now. Side. Stay with him. Back here on third down. He'll take a deep shot. And it's Ooh. Let it fly on third Ooh, down. We got and lucky right there. Fourth. Now. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third Oregon. down and long, trying to pick Gabriel. up the first down, but look at the scoreboard. He's a You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart Number play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, forced them to use their timeouts. Now at fourth down and long with the lead, need a tough down. decision need a here. Touchdown. I think you got to punt it away. Get an end zone. Oh, and it lands at the four and bounces in for a touchback. And the Washington offense is back out on the field now. We're coming off a quick three and out, so looking to put something together on this drive with no more urgency. Here's the first play of the drive now from the 20 yard line. First down, looking to throw the football. Going for a big play downfield. You pressed the wrong button this time. one is panicking open now. up and panicking falls though. incomplete. Panicking. Most offensive coaches, they're going to be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man. But I'm curious to see if they're going to test this defensive back again because of the excellent coverage he's having out there. Complete second down coming up. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. No, oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back, getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking interception. This one falls to the ground. The next tip ball could be going the other way. On third down, he drops to throw. He was wide open. The senior on this defense making a big play. The Huskies will bring their punt team onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. He hands it to the back. 
It's a two-yard game, second and eight coming up. Well, this is where you really rely on your offensive line. You're late the game, you got the lead, you got to run the football. They know you're going to run the football. Get behind that big offensive line, run that running back, make sure he protects the football, and you got a great chance at a victory. And he's got his man open downfield. And the game just good enough for a first down. And this is why running the football is so to stop the run and they do a play play. You go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. Yeah, we gotta press. We gotta press. More than enough for a first down. We gotta press. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are gonna play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you want to run the football here to work the clock, but these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. For the offense, a chance to extend the lead, but more importantly, milk the clock here late in the game. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. He's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Second and goal for the offense. Great job by the running back is staying in bounds to continue to work that clock, working here yeah, in the fourth two quarter backs with back the lead. There. You got that defense getting closer and closer to their goal line. They are backed up. Get and him. Jumbo steps up and makes an impact play. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all in the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. We need a turnover. They cannot kick a field goal. We need a turnover. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. We gotta get some pressure on him. Make him throw it to us. Get some pressure on him. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. And the offense They're gonna run it. They have to run it. Third and they goal have to from run it. a long way they away. Have to. So they can go up by two scores. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. The field goal is good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. I mean, we held in the field goals. <laughs> so after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. We got to go for the gust game. The Washington offense retakes the field here. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? We got to go for the gusto, the gusto, the gusto. The quarterback the gusto. now all alone in the backfield. Fire. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. How did he go that fast? five yards. And the delay of game penalty will push the offense back five. First down here for this offense. Change the defense. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. And the clock winding down, they'll take a deep shot. That ball is incomplete, an aggressive deep shot on first down. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Second down, we're going to throw it. Fires it to the wide out. And it's complete downfield. Stopped out at the 39, but good enough for a first down. 
A new set of downs after that completion. Good enough for a first down. And looking to throw now on first down. The sure hands. It's Coleman. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Short completion there. Second down coming up. I put it on a streak. He can't hear. Oh, he can hear. Okay, here we go. Looking to throw yet again. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point. You cover an onside kick. You never know. We got three timeouts. We got two. Here's the point after attempt. PHC is good and still a minute trailing. left. Should we kick it deep? We got two timeouts. We're gonna kick it deep. We're gonna kick it deep and hope for a turnover. We're not gonna on that kick. We have no shot if we don't get it. Formation here. Two timeouts. Final minute. I'm not sure they've done the math here. Surprised they're not going for the onside kick. We're not going for the onside kick. We still got yeah, two timeouts. The 25, no overturn attempted there. And they're going to run a clock out, but hey, anything can happen, man. And the, the onside offense kick, we have no chance. Field. Crucial possession here. Suddenly, this is a two-point game in the final All right, they're going pistol. What can the offense pistol. do to build on this lead or just play keep away? Press, press, press. Looking for some space. It's winning. How did he get through Four there? Down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The Ducks hope to be able to press, run guys. this clock out of the final minute and secure the W. Press coverage trust. now from these DBs. Make them throw it. The backs got it. And the one get push it to the first down. Three. And now it's they the didn't defense get it, but they get pushed. Time out here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Oh, now they nailing well, I feel it. like they call that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run, but look at this. Oh, boy. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. It's over, guys. We'll see if they can convert. And the Ducks will bring their punt team on the field now. This one's over. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Oh, well. The home, this home field advantage killed us, man. Bringing it back, it's Jackson. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. we got five seconds. Can we get the ball out of bounds in five seconds? Offense has a ways to go to get into field goal range. They need some big plays, and time is winding down. Looking to pass, it's Rodgers. Final minutes here, they'll throw it deep downfield. One last pass attempt falls incomplete, and that will wrap up this game. We tried, guys. We tried, man. It was too much. We got squiggly lines the whole game. We couldn't run our offense, man. Hot Ross wasn't working. Well, so much emotion coming into this game. Always tough to lose. We couldn't see our plays. I didn't know who I was going to. going to have bragging rights now. Yeah, this one hurts. This one hurts. See, these are the losses that cut a little deeper because of the bad blood between the two teams. And that is right, been a guys, wrap you it up. Some, we we enjoyed some. this one we here. Battled, on the road. Street, we I'm battled. Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. We held him to 65 yards and 19 rushing, rushing attempts. We made him dink and dunk, though. We played, guys. We played. We couldn't get our offense going. I thought our defense played well. Our defense played really well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched the whole thing, I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.